The scripture says, there is that scatters and yet increases. There is that withholds and yet it tends to poverty. And I don't want to get into a teaching session here, but in the book of Zechariah chapter one, God speaks about dealing with the Gentile nations that have scattered the Jews. And he says, these horns that scattered Judah, I'm going to cut them off. But then when we get to chapter two, he calls on the Jewish people scattered around the world. And he says, up, up, flee from the land of the north, says the Lord, for I have spread you abroad like the four winds of heaven. And again, he goes on to say his intention was not only to spread the Jews among the Gentiles, but to spread the message of the true God among the Gentiles. And so he says in verse 11 of chapter 2, Many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day, and they shall become my people. So God's intention was in scattering the Jews, then in the restoration, to bring many Gentiles with them. And that not only happened in the Old Testament as the Jews were scattered among the Assyrians and the Babylonians and so on, but also the spreading of the gospel in the early days of the book of Acts. Uh, the Jews were driven out and with them, the Christians, because many of the early Christians were Jews. And so they were also driven across the empire. And so there is that scatters and yet increases. The farmer throws his seed away, <laughs> but what happens? He throws it away purposefully. And that's the very word that is used by Peter when he speaks to the 12 tribes scattered, the saints who've been scattered, not scattered randomly, haphazardly, but with a purpose, God is behind it, scattering the seed. So let me tell you a little story about that. Again, in Vancouver, as I was leaving the rescue mission and heading downtown to have a study and lunch with a friend, I turned a corner at an old flea bag hotel called the Drake Hotel. and uh, You can commit just about any sin you want to there at the Drake Hotel. It's now been taken over by the city and, and I think torn down. As I turned the corner, there was a stocky man standing in the street uh, handing out gospel tracts. And he reached over and he said, good news from heaven, sir. And I said, you don't believe that stuff, do you? And he said, it changed my life. I said, tell me about it. Well, he said, I used to be a co-owner of the Drake Hotel. And he said, I was over in, uh, I think, Edmonton doing a bulk beer deal. And uh, when we finished our lunch, I don't know why I said it to the beer salesman, but I said, I don't know what's wrong with me, man. I got all the money I want, the girls I want, the, the drugs I want, the drink I want. I'm not happy, I'm miserable. And the beer salesman reached into his pocket and pulled out a gospel tract and threw it across the table and said, somebody gave this to me today, maybe it'll help you. And flying home, he'd read the in-flight magazine, he thought of that little tract, he pulled it out, and he read it, and the Spirit of God convicted him, and he got saved. He went back and went in to see his partner and told him, he said, I just got saved. And he says, what do you mean saved, man? He said, my sins are gone. And his partner laughed at him. And he said, you can laugh all you want, man, but for the first time in my life, I have peace partner said, well, we can't work together anymore. And he says, you got that right. He said, well, I don't have any money to buy you out. And the fellow said, well, I couldn't take the money anyway. It's dirty money. And he just walked out. Went, got a job as a little short order cook around the corner and used all his spare time and spare money to hand out gospel tracts to his former customers in front of the Drake Hotel. Now, of course, the punchline is this that the man or woman who gave the tract to the beer salesman in Edmonton won't find out until they get to heaven probably how many thousands of souls were reached with the gospel through that one gospel tract. And that's how it is with seed. You can't count the number of fields of seed that are found in one grain because of the rapid multiplication of the seed of the Word of God. So be encouraged. You may not always make the connection just like that faithful Christian who gave the track to the beer salesman. But God has a way of multiplying that seed. There is that scatters and yet increases. And the Bible says the more seed we sow, the more of a harvest we will see.